Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Let's Play some more Moro Oblivion. And we are um, recording this quite late in the day actually because I had lots of work to do today and I realised on top of that that I'd run out of videos again. So I'm going to play this for a bit and I'll upload a video tonight probably at some ungodly hour. Who knows when but anyway. I'm making the effort, that's what's important here. So... Yeah, we're on our way to tell Vos, I think, aren't we? Yeah. In spite of the fact that I've forgotten, yeah, that I sold the um, Daedra skin we were supposed to bring there in the first place. But I'm going to go to tell Vos anyway, just because our character hasn't actually realised he's lost the uh, Daedra skin just yet. As far as he's concerned, he's still got it because he's a bit. Well, he just—he was too distracted, I think, of the traders by that shiny amulet that didn't work. Oh, for heaven's sake, really? You know, sometimes I think. Sometimes I think I—I I, I would actually like to visit Cyrodiil at some point because, in Cyrodiil, not everything wants to kill you all the time, constantly. What's that? There was something down here. I just saw it. Oh, it was a. Oh, it was a slaughterfish. Okay. Well, it's dead now. If it wasn't what what was after us. Anyway, uh, like I was saying, um, actually, I've forgotten what I was saying. Right, so forget that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's just carry on. Oh right, yeah, now I remember. Um, yeah, he didn't quite realise. Wow, the texture on that's quite realistic looking. Anyway, um, he hasn't. He hasn't realised that he's lost the Daedra skin thing because he was too distracted by that shiny awesome amulet. And wow, he died quickly. Goodness me. Um, oh, and it's getting dark soon. Hmm. And we're still being chased by something. Is it this crab over here? Well, maybe it was, but the thing's stopped now, so I'm not going to bother. Anyway, yeah, I'm, because... Oh, wit wit. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Um, good for making health potions with. And something else wants to die. Heh. The sword is suddenly a lot better now, actually, that I've, uh, you know, um, repaired it. Now well, then, let's grab some more of this stuff. Yeah, I'm still going to go to tell boss, even though I've not got the thing. Just because I'm kind of determined to see this mad journey I've set myself through to the end. Regardless of whether or not I've still got the stuff. So I suppose once I get there, I'll just get catch a boat to Sadrish more and buy some more uh, Daedra skin or whatever. And do it that way. More Wickweed, oh goodness me. Let's have as much of this as we can possibly physically be bothered to carry. How much have I got now? Wickweed, 16. Uh, not enough. Still, anyway. Now I've completely lost my bearings, right. Red Mountain's over there, so this is this must be north. I know I have a compass in the bottom, but it's quite small on this screen, actually, so I don't look at it very often. God, the Graceland's are so... Uh, you know, pretty <laughs> compared to that wasteland we've been trudging through for the last few videos. Also, I don't know how the performance is going to fare on this. Because, um... For some reason, Oblivion saw fit to... Totally reset my graphic settings for some reason when I started it up earlier. So I've had to kind of rejig it again to get it working at optimal quality. And I don't know whether I've managed to get it quite the same as last time. And again, l uh, likewise with my sound levels, they're probably... Um, they're probably alright, but you never know. Might be a bit dodgy. Sometimes the reason why my voice is so quiet on these videos is because I forget to reset the levels on my microphone in Windows. Because for some reason, even if you set the booster on for this microphone, um, once you finish a recording session or you reboot the computer or whatever, um, it doesn't have the booster set on again, so sometimes I forget to do that, and that's why the voice is really quiet. And what are those guys doing over there? It's like three guys just walking along. 
What are you up to? Okay, well, they'll you know, attack us, apparently. Heh. Whoa! Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. Ah, uh, fiddle six. We're back where we started. Damn it. <laughs> Never mind. <coughs> Sorry, still not shaking off the cough quite yet. Hmm. Let's just keep... Oh, I'm going to have to pick up all that bloody wick wheat again. Mm. Frustrating. Alright, yeah, and the invisible enemy wants to come and attack us again. Which we're just going to ignore. Is that a... Oh, hello. You weren't here last time. Yeah, this sword is kicking ass. And I did check just before I started. The difficulty settings are set at the right one. It's just this... Now I've repaired this claymore, it's just seriously fucking over anyone who wants to screw with me. Well, apart from those guys earlier, anyway. Heh. <laughs> week, week gathering time. Sorry if this is boring you a little bit, but. Ah! Uh, this whole week, week health potion thing is one of those instances where I think in the LP, practicality is going to take place over viewability. Viewability is probably not even a word, but I just made it up. In the dictionary of me, it exists. Get some more. Alright, there's uh, some more over there, but I can't be bothered. It's a bit too far out of the way. We need to keep going north. Quick save it. This little camp over there is probably hostile, so I'm not going to bother them. Some more Nick sounds over there. Yeah, there must be actually, yeah, this place definitely looks a lot, lo a lot more tropical in more Oblivion for some reason. I will be taking your hound meat, mister. Oh, Wickweed. No, 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 no. I wonder if you can... You can probably make bread out of this stuff, can't you? What with it being wheat and all. I sometimes wonder, like... Like, for example, Hakaloa, I'm pretty sure, is like Morrowind's version of tobacco. And Wickweed, obviously, must be Morrowind's version of wheat. Except it grows wild, as opposed to being farmed. Generally speaking, anyway. Cork bulb. I don't have a freaking clue. Probably some sort of equivalent of a rubber tree or something. I'm not sure. Nick's hounds are... Oh, good God knows. I don't know. I can't t I can't. honestly can't tell whether that was a fat bastard of a Nick's hound. So is this one. I honestly can't tell sometimes if they're meant to be insects or lizards or mammals or what. You know, they're just weird. Like so many other things in this game. But hey, that's why I love it. So let's keep moving, moving onwards. Ash yams clearly must be potatoes. Um, I'm trying to think what else there is. Salt rice must be yeah, well rice, obviously. Except it's weird because it grows near salt water for some reason. Coda flower must be like a lotus or something. I'm not sure. I do quite like that they went to the trouble of making up like a whole ecosystem with different plants and things for this. It adds a little, a little more to the immersion, you know. Okay, okay. This isn't good. Ah, oh, jeez, I've been overburdened and everything. What the hell did they hit me with just then? Well, you know, I've got Flynn to counteract that. And bunch more of these homemade restore health boxes. Come on. One more second and we're good. Right. Right, you... Yeah, finally. Haha, <laughs> they were distracted by a, a... something. I'm not sure what it was. Oh, jeez. Not again. I cannot drink any more potions right now. 
apparently. Oh, no way! Friendly fire for the win. Well, you know what? Two can play at this paralyzation game. You just let you just wait till I get back up again, lady. I've got a toy you're gonna really enjoy, I'm sure. Where are you? There you are. <laughs> oh, come on! You spoiled my moment of revenge. Right, well, I'm gonna come prepared this time. Hmm. <laughs> These weirdos are starting to really piss me off. What even are they? They're just random people. With funny looking shields and... Some really crazy spells. Pretty bloody deadly as well. Drains my strength and paralyzes me, I think. Unless they were hitting me with something else at the same time. Come on, then. Oh, it's you again. Where was your mate? You had a friend earlier. Well, who knows? Love that. More food. I thought we'd run out of food a lot faster than we actually have on this journey so far, so... I think sometimes in my head these journeys take a lot longer than they do actually in the game, because in the game we've probably only been travelling about t for about two days. But uh, it always seems to take longer than that. Plus... You know, I often think that in Elder Scrolls games, land masses are sort of scaled down a little bit in terms of, well, by what, by, by that I mean sort of like Morrowind, for example, I mean Vardenfell even, is technically only about three kilometers across or something, probably even less. Whereas in my head, it's a lot more than that, you know what I mean? It's sort of, for every like yard you travel, you know, 10 yards or something. You know what I mean? I d it makes no sense, does it, really? But, you know. Because the world feels a lot bigger than actually, technically speaking, it is. I suppose that's further compounded by the fact that the, um, the days on this actually last about half an hour as opposed to 24 hours, you know what I mean? Oh, wick, wick. Uh, I don't know where we are now. Heal myself anyway. Keep the old blade handy in case we run into more weirdos with crazy spells. Weren't they over here somewhere? Yeah, they were. Oh dear. Um, play my jinx sword time. Oh, come on! Oh my goodness, what the hell happened there? What? What? Oh, I don't know. I think it must have been something deadly reflex related, but she just tapped me with her axe and I instantly died for some reason. God, this is annoying me now. I mean, on the one hand, I could just eat, I could quite easily avoid them altogether, but on the other. They're really pissing me off, and I want to kill a lot of them. Um, so I don't know. And we're probably fast approaching time on this video as well, so... Right, give me your meat, please. Thank you. Uh, more wig wait, yeah, thank you. Anyway, let's carry on. Screw it, we'll just avoid them. I will have my revenge later when I'm a higher level. Or I have a bow and arrow or something. Oh, what now? What now? Come on. Right. Now that's dealt with. Let's continue. North-ish somewhere. Um, I could follow the road, but I'm not going to. Save time if we just go across country. And besides, there's more things like wheat we to pick along the way. And more nice little hills that we can use as frames of reference for where we are. Naturally, I could just check the map, but I sometimes prefer not to in these games. Feels more realistic not to have your GPS at hand. 